Nein, ich habe keine in nicht dabei. Dann kann ich Ihnen den Alkohol nicht verkaufen. What? Alcohol? I thought I was buying chocolate. Hello friends, привет, друзья, hola, bonjour, this is Tatiana. Last time I made a video about learning how to play the piano in virtual reality. This is not the only thing you can learn how to do in VR. Did you know that there are VR apps for language learning? Learning languages in virtual reality? Where do I sign up? First of all, there aren't many language learning apps for virtual reality. The most popular ones are House of Languages that allows you to practice vocabulary with cute little animals. And there is Mondly VR, where you can practice conversation skills with 3D avatars. But none of those gives you the same level of realism that you would get if you were actually talking to a native speaker. But there is one app that stands out. Immerse Me. Immerse Me is a language learning platform that allows you to travel to one of the nine countries to practice their native language while communicating with native speakers on various topics. You will be placed in different scenarios that we're creating using 360 degrees cameras in real places in those countries, like restaurants, coffee shops, banks, hotels, and many others. This app is really cool because you can virtually talk to real people whose responses were pre-recorded according to different courses that your conversation with them can go. In a way, it is similar to Monthly VR, but in Monthly you practice in a computer-generated 3D space, which is not nearly as realistic as a 360 degrees video. And secondly, unfortunately, Monthly VR is only designed for Oculus Go and Gear VR and is not yet adapted for Oculus Quest. However, the developers say that they are working on adapting this app for Oculus Quest, so when they do, I'll make sure to review it and maybe even make a video comparing these two apps. Hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss it. Unlike Monthly VR, Immerse Me is played from a browser, so it's supported by any VR set. However, if you don't own a VR headset, it is also possible to play on a desktop computer. You should try it. So today I'm on a quest to find out if you actually can learn languages in virtual reality. Let's go! Hey guys, so I got these super best headphones for myself and I'm going to put the link in the description. They work pretty well and I generally like using my VR headset with headphones and these are very comfortable and convenient. So before we start, I have to say that I have used Immerse Me on a desktop computer, but never in VR. So let's see how it feels. So now I'll show you real quick how to run Immerse Me in your Oculus Quest. First of all, as I've said, it is running the browser, so go ahead and open your favorite browser. I like Firefox Reality, but you can use any browser that you like. So here we are. The first thing we want to do is in the search bar you need to type in immerseme.co. Not com, but co. co. Here is immerseme.co. I will put it in the description to this video. Let's go. And there you have it, Immerse Me. You can go ahead and explore the website. It's pretty interesting what this app can do. Immerse Me is not a free platform. However, there is a demo version that has so many different lessons and it's more than enough for you to see if you like learning languages this way and if it works for you. So let's go ahead and click on login. So as you can see, I already have my demo in the email address. And you also need to type in demo in the password. That's how you're going to log in into the public account and have access to some lessons. And here we are! You can see all these languages that you can choose from. I'm just going to start with English because I'll just show you real quick how it works and then we'll see if I can learn other languages. So this is the demo account. You can see that there are so many lessons in beginner, intermediate and advanced levels. Of course not all of them are included in the demo version, but there is still a lot of them to choose from. That's massive! I'm going to just choose one and see how it works with virtual reality. Restaurant seems like a good topic. I like talking about food. The cool thing about this app is that it has several lesson modes. Pronunciation, writing, translation, and immersion. For every lesson, you get the lesson script with all the things that you will be asked and all the things that you can answer. And you can say all these things in different ways. So if you click on the arrow, there are different variations of how to say the same thing. Let's do it. I'll choose pronunciation. So before we start, there's one thing you need to do. Go ahead and disconnect one of your controllers. I simply remove the battery from my left controller. This will help your controller to work better in VR. Let's start. Hi, are you ready to load up? Okay, and then you can click on this VR mode button and you will get transferred into the virtual reality of Immerse Me. Look at that. I'm in a restaurant and the waitress is waiting for me to make an order. And there are options uh, how I can order my main course. All right. I would like to order a main course, please. Sure. What type of main? Hmm. Type of main. Oh, they have a steak. I want a steak. I'll go for a steak, please. 
How would you like your steak cooked? Mm, I like my steak medium. I'd like it medium, please. Sure, would you like a side of chips or salad? Chips? Are we in England? Yes, I would like some salad, please. Okay, you won't be long. Oh, cool. And now she went uh, and she comes back with my food. Look at that. There's the, exactly the same food that I ordered. This is awesome. All right, I like this a lot. My favorite part was that she actually left and she came back with the food that I order. Because when you learn vocabulary, it's very important to visualize it as well. So when you're saying it and then it appears right in front of you, that's really great for retention. I feel like uh, whoever would be learning English would feel more comfortable ordering food in the restaurant already. All right, so now I want to try a language that I don't speak. I want to challenge myself. Let's see. Japanese, for example. Let's go to beginner because I don't speak Japanese at all and I don't read Japanese. Japanese. So how is it gonna work? I'm just going to buy a cold drink. So we have a script. If you're like me and you just want to practice conversation, I will switch it to the way I can read. So let's start. He speaks really fast. That's also a part of authenticity. People are not always going to be talk slower to you just because you're a non-native speaker. You need to be prepared. So I know how to say it, but what does it mean? Aha. Uh -huh. So we are either buying Coke or bottled water. I know what it means now. Now I want to hear what it sounds like. Let's try. Oh, that looks like mineral water or sparkling water. Is that what it means? Mineral water is like still water or sparkling water. How do I say that? Mineral water wo onegai shimasu. Mineral water wo onegai shimasu. Kochira o mizu ninnarimasu. Onedan wa 100 yen ninnarimasu. Eee, that's so cute. He got me water. And what is he saying to me? 100 yen. Okay? Kore de onegai shimasu. Arigatougozaimasu. Ah, oh, I know that. Arigatou gozaimasu. See, that just felt differently. It feels differently where there is a real person in front of you. Even though you know it's a recording, it just feels so much more authentic. I'm loving this. I'm here for it. This is probably the closest you can get to authentic conversations with a native speaker without an actual native speaker. Let's also try German. So there's a chocolate shop lesson and I definitely want to buy some chocolate. Hello. Hello. Haben Sie eine Treuekarte? Do I have a Treuekarte? I wish I knew what that meant. Loyalty card. Hmm. I guess I don't. But look at this cute chocolate shop. I'm definitely going to be getting one. Nein, ich habe keine Treuekarte. Bezahlen Sie bar oder mit Karte? Are you paying by cash or by card? Uh -huh, so bezahlen means paying. Let's pay with card. Ich möchte mit Karte zahlen. Brauchen Sie eine Tüte? Tüte? I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, a bag. Sure, why not? Ja, bitte. Kann ich bitte Ihren Ausweis sehen? Ausweis. What is Aus Ausweis? ID. I wonder why she needs my ID. Is this some kind of German thing? Well, I think she expects me to have an ID, but I'm just gonna mess with her. Let's just say I don't have an ID and see what happens. Nein, ich habe keine in nicht dabei. Dann kann ich Ihnen den Alkohol nicht verkaufen. What? Alcohol? I thought I was buying chocolate. Isn't it a chocolate store? It doesn't look like an alcohol store. Although I do see some bottles there, but I swear I thought I was buying chocolate. I guess that's fair enough. She doesn't want to sell me alcohol chocolate if I don't show her my ID. I can understand that. Fair enough. You win, lady. Das kann ich verstehen. Schönen Tag noch. And now she's kicking me out of her store. So I can't even stay and buy some chocolate that doesn't have any alcohol? I'm gonna complain about it. What if I have my loyalty card? Vielen Dank und auf Wiedersehen. All right, sorry guys, looks like we didn't get any chocolate today, but at least I got my steak, right? I've mentioned that you can have a free access to the demo version of Immerse Me and I have shown you how to get there, but I also want to show you what the full version of Immerse Me looks like. So if you choose a language, and in this case I have German, you see that there are groups of topics and in each topic, there are several lessons united by this topic. So in this case, for example, 
you have a cafe, you go through these lessons and master your skills of buying coffee. So, so this is just the beginner level. If you go to intermediate, you might get more lessons and more different topics. In the culture topic, for example, there are 14 lessons and you will talk about all kinds of things that are related to culture. There's lots of vocabulary to learn, there are so many conversations to practice, you will never get bored with this app, and you will definitely learn some language, especially if you are in the beginning or intermediate stages of learning that language. Let's try Italian. I don't speak Italian. Let's try and buy a loaf of bread. I'm buying a lot of food today. Let's go. Salve. I want to hear what they're supposed to sound like so that I don't butcher this language because I don't speak Italian. Vorrei comprare del pane, per favore. Vorrei comprare del pane, per favore. Certo, che tipo di pane vuole? So she's probably asking me what kind of bread I want and there are several different types. I don't know what this one sounds like and I don't know what it means. Homemade bread. All right, yeah, I want to order homemade bread, but I want to know how to say that in Italian. Un pane casareccio, per favore. Casareccio, per favore. I can say that. Un pane casareccio, per favore. Okay, questo è il casareccio, due avrete a chilo. A voi. So she's responding based on the type of bread that I ordered. So you can see how personalized these dialogues are. They are dynamically adapting to how you respond in your conversation and it makes it ever so realistic. And I'm not even saying like, look at this, I'm in this Italian bakery and it looks so cozy and cute. This is a really great experience. I'm enjoying this very much. Grazie mille. Di niente, buona giornata. Arrivederla. Yes, we did it! We had our first conversation in Italian and we got some delicious bread. I think it was great. I would recommend going through this script and make sure that you understand it. You are not meant to just throw yourself in the middle of the dialogue and expect to communicate. You need to prepare yourself a little bit just by understanding some basic vocabulary like the types of bread, thank you, and stuff like that. So I overall think that this was a great experience because if you're a language learner, you probably know that very often you might know the words, but you feel this language barrier that wouldn't let you say anything, which you feel like you're frozen and that's because you have the pressure of talking in front of the native speaker. Here you have a chance to talk in front of a native speaker who will be patiently waiting for you to respond for as long as you need and you don't need to stress out and you still get the feeling of having an authentic conversation. If you haven't tried Immerse Me yet, you definitely should. <music>